All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is uh, Justin Bieber reveals how Usher betrayed him to Diddy. Diddy used him for rappers. Guys, that, that title is wild. Um, all right, listen, I just saw recently a video of Justin Bieber uh, doing some absolute craziness in like some nightclub. I think maybe he was just like extremely intoxicated or something. I can't explain it, but it looked like he was grabbing for someone else's, you know, manhood. Uh, but it said, but not with his hands, it was, it was his mouth. Uh, it was weird, bro. I can't explain it. All right. You can probably Google that and see what I'm saying here, guys. But it's absolutely unfortunate how things uh, like that happen. But either way, listen, let's go and check this out immediately. <laughs> uh, coming from the channel, uh, Culture Covered. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, okay. I was doing Molly. Um, right. You know, so wasting your life. Rooms, everything. Right. Bad boy. Oh, he's bad boy now. <laughs> it looks like Diddy is asking him if he has a wire. Justin says no. Then Diddy checks to see if he has a wire. Yo, this is some sick sh So apparently Justin Bieber Ooh. is finally starting to come to terms with some heavy stuff regarding his early days in the music industry. Word on the street is that he's been feeling like he was manipulated and used by Usher and Diddy. And he Bro, maybe that's why he's doing so many narcotics. He may be finally ready to share his story. So these disturbing rumors about Justin and Diddy have been floating around for ages. And recently, Jaguar Wright threw Usher into the mix, accusing him of essentially handing Justin over to Diddy. But here's the twist. Jaguar also mentioned that Usher might have been a victim himself. I'm not angry with Usher. He's a victim. But when you decide, hey, I can't beat them, so I'm going to join them. Right. See, that's what me and you got a problem. This okay. just goes to show how this evil cycle works. And I'm Bro, sincerely what? hoping there's a reckoning within the music industry, specifically the hip hop industry about this situation. But what do we really know about Diddy's connection to Justin Bieber? And where does Usher fit into all this drama? Let's get into it. I was waking up in the morning and the first thing I was doing is popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day. I basically said to myself, oh my God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff. And if you do, I'll do the rest of the work. So a bunch of old videos showing Diddy's questionable interactions with Justin Bieber have suddenly popped up again on the internet after Diddy's homes got raided last month as part of an ongoing federal investigation. Some of these videos are extremely unsettling to watch and fans yeah, now, are now reevaluating everything right. about Justin's past. It's Bro, like every single video that you see with Diddy in it currently, uh, it's hard to look at because you're just like, bro, why are you touching on people like that? Why are you doing that? Like, why are you so hands-on with people that literally have nothing to do with you? That's such a weird thing. Right? It's uncomfortable to encounter. Especially his struggles with mental health and substance abuse. Once upon a time, Justin Bieber was the biggest pop star on the planet. But these days, it seems like Justin is a shell of his former self. He always looks sad and lost, and it seems he doesn't have any interest in making music anymore. Last year, he made a huge move and sold off his entire music catalog for $200 million. And there's been a lot of speculation that he's officially retired from the music business. But what's really weird is that Justin seems to be steering clear of solo music these days and yet last september he popped up on one of diddy's tracks called moments from his album the love album off the grid now you'd think if justin's not really into his own music anymore he wouldn't have time to jump on someone else's project right, right. well there's been right. some buzz lately about justin either having some type of trauma bond with diddy wow. or being a victim of diddy's alleged blackmail scheme by the way when diddy announced justin's Ooh. feature on his album last year he wrote this on twitter justin bieber has become one of the biggest superstars in the world. I met him when he was playing his guitar outside on the street. I'm honored to call him a dear friend and a brother. I never had the chance to work with him until now. God is the greatest. But hold up. Why did Diddy say he met Justin while he was playing guitar outside on the street? From what we know, it was actually Usher who introduced Justin to Diddy, not some chance encounter on the sidewalk. To give some context, when Justin was about 12, he started gaining some serious traction thanks to his mom, Patty Millette, who was uploading his singing videos on YouTube. One of these videos caught the eye of controversial manager Scooter Braun. And Scooter was so convinced that Justin had what it takes to be the next
convinced Big Fang that he went on this whole detective mission to track him down. Scooter found the theater Justin was performing at in one of those YouTube videos, hunted down his school, and finally reached out to Patty. Practic Sounds like him. Lee begging her to let Justin come with him to Atlanta. After some hesitation, Justin's mom agreed, and at just 13 years old, Justin hopped on a plane to Atlanta with Scooter to lay down some demo tapes. And get this, just a week later, Usher himself swooped in and became Justin's mentor. Now, in the interview with the New York Times, Justin's mom spilled the beans on how Usher didn't stop at mentoring. He went the extra mile and appointed his right-hand man, Ryan Good, to be Justin's road manager. And as he put it, his swagger coach. And according to Patty, this is when she started losing control over Justin. Now keep in mind that Patty was just a teenager herself when she had Justin. And to top it off, she had to raise him all on her own after Justin's dad, Jeremy, hit the road. Life wasn't exactly a walk in the park for Patty either. She went through some tough times and even battled with thoughts of ending it all when she was just 17. So you can imagine, Patty probably saw this opportunity with Scooter and yeah, Usher a as deal. a ticket to a better right, life a for deal. Justin. She put all her trust in them. Not just Justin, both of them. Hoping they'd protect her son and give him the chances she never had. But as it often goes, once Scooter and Usher stepped in, Patty was completely shut out. And suddenly, Justin was out of her hands. But it gets worse, because Usher apparently wasted no time introducing young Justin to his mentor, Diddy. Back in 2009, 15-year-old Justin got shipped off to spend 48 hours with Diddy. But no... Oh. No one bothered to explain what the purpose of this hangout right. was. Justin what wasn't was a rapper, so what exactly was Diddy supposed to teach him? Now, as you probably know, there's this video floating around from that time that's got everyone buzzing. And it shows Diddy talking about how he can't disclose what exactly he and Justin are up to. Oh, no. So where, where are we up to now? Like specifically, if this is like if the first time they actually did anything together musically was pretty recently, and this is obviously the early two thousands. Huh, what were you? What were you doing, sir? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where are we going? <laughs> we just so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like. The, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Now let's say Justin was just starstruck. He said nothing and really wanted to just hang out with Diddy. But what was Diddy's deal? What was his motivation to spend 48 hours with a kid who couldn't even legally drink? We all Ooh. know what Diddy's definition- I mean, what we do know, really quickly, um, if we listen to what Usher was saying about you know, when he was around Justin's age, uh, Diddy was basically bringing him into all types of clubs, uh, you know, Clubs with ladies in them, specifically, you know, scantily clad, uh, you know, giving them alcohol to all, all these type of crazy things when he was Justin's age. So it doesn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all, actually, um, if that also was something that's go that was going on. ...of having a good time looks like. And plus, let's not forget, Diddy was 40 years old at the time. So what was his game plan? Why the sudden interest in a 15-year-old Justin? And then mm. there's this other nugget Diddy dropped in that video about having legal guardianship over Usher. You know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full crazy. Hold up, legal guardianship? What's up with these parents letting Diddy have custody of their teenage son? Yeah, never. As you probably know, Usher himself spilled the beans, admitting he was just 13 or 14 when L.A. Reid shipped him off to Puffy Flavor Camp. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. Puffy Flavor Camp? Bro, does that make you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Flavor camp. Yeah, Flavor that's what camp. it was called. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and yeah. I saw it. And it was... <laughs> and it was uh, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty yeah. wild. And then there's also yeah. this bizarre video of Kevin Hart interviewing Diddy, where Diddy says he and Usher used to wake up and wrestle when Usher was 10. And I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. What happened? I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off, uh -huh. of, the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. <laughs> Mind you Bro, everything sounds terrible now.
everything. Diddy is 10 years older than Usher. <laughs> so what did Diddy mean when he said he used to wake up and know. wrestle? Y'all, this is getting seriously creepy, and yeah. I don't know how anyone could justify this type of behavior. It's now, weird. over time, it looks like Usher and Diddy have kind of drifted apart. But get this, Diddy had this knack for putting Usher in awkward situations, especially when the cameras were rolling. There's this clip that's been making the rounds again, showing Diddy straight up putting Usher on the spot and asking why they don't hang out as much anymore. Something ain't right, you all. It's nothing like fellowship. You know, right. so we see each other around, but we don't get it. Usher, how you been, man? I've been seeing you so long. How much did we drink? <laughs> 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 okay. Uh-oh. Hey, Nick. Hey, Diddy, you gone. He don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you trying to say something, Usher? I'm trying to say something. What do you want to say? I don't know if I should, but I'm what? not. Well, we drank a little bit. You drank a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> you drank that whole can of beer. Yeah, you drank that beer. You drank two shots of tequila. Yeah, right. You drank Fired one up. Kuiper Rose. Let me say fired up. Yeah. That's your group, right? Fired up. Mm -hmm. I like the fired fire up. Your forehead is sweating well, like Uncle Leroy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now check out how Diddy did the same thing with Justin in this video that was recorded when they ran into each other about a year after that 48 hour hangout. Everything's good? Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try oh, to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. you, you never really got, got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. There's also been some serious guy. Oh. Gossip swirling around that it was actually Diddy who first introduced Justin to the party scene and illegal substances. And word on the street is that this whole ordeal is what fueled Justin's desire to protect other young artists from falling into the same trap. Check out okay. how Justin broke down crying in his 2020 interview with Zayn Lowe over talking about his friendship with Billie Eilish and why he's so protective of her. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone you know telling me they love me and you know just turn their back on you in a second um so if she ever needs me i'm gonna be here for her but um but yeah just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh encounters and um i just want to protect her you know i don't want her to go through anything i went through i don't wish that upon anybody and now, there are two more sketchy videos of Justin making the rounds online, and they're enough to make your skin crawl at the thought of what Diddy might have put Justin through. So this first right. video shows Diddy patting down Justin and seemingly checking to make sure he's not wearing a recording device. And did you see how Justin kept looking at the ground and avoiding looking Diddy in the face? I mean, you don't have to be a body language expert to see that Justin yeah, is clearly intimidated and afraid of this demon. But it gets worse, y'all. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he straight... 100% submitted to him. There's this other video of Justin partying with Diddy's equally oh, problematic wait. friends. Bro, this is the video that I was talking about earlier. Watch this closely. This is this is weird. All right. He definitely grabbed for the for the crotch, let's say, with his mouth. It gets worse, y'all. There's this other video of Justin partying with Diddy's equally problematic friends, Trey Songs and Odell Beckham Jr. And not only does Justin look like he's completely out of it, but at one point he appears to, you know what, I can't even say what this looks like, so I'll just let you. You see what I'm saying, guys? It's weird. You watch and be the judge. Right. Now, some Let's just run it back so you can kind of see it. And then you, you guys can definitely be the judge of it. Don't listen to me. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. There's this but. other video of Justin partying with Diddy's equally problematic friends, Trey Songs and Odell Beckham Jr. And not only does Justin look like he's completely out of it, but at one point he appears to, you know what, I can't even say what this looks like, so I'll just let you watch and be the judge. Now, some folks are saying that Justin was doing a bump of that Coca-Cola without oh, yeah? Coca-Cola, if you know what I mean. But uh -huh. others have pointed out that the way Odell moves his hands after Justin gets up makes it look like they were doing something else. Either way, this whole situation mm. is beyond disgusting and sad and whatever justin went through let's just hope he can heal and find peace as for justin potentially testifying against diddy well sources close to justin are saying he's still torn about whether to address the situation or not one source who recently spoke to in touch weekly said justin doesn't really want to talk publicly about his relationship with diddy but he may have to i'm not sure if diddy did anything that justin now thinks crossed the line but if he does he's not saying if justin has to address his past interactions with diddy he will as for usher he's been keeping a low profile 
profile since Diddy's houses got raided. He recently paid a visit to Russell Simmons in Bali, and rumor has it, Usher is looking for a way out before this whole thing blows over. And while some fans are saying Usher shouldn't be blamed if Diddy actually did something to Justin, others think he's at least partially responsible because he knew exactly what Diddy was like. One fan right. said, I don't get it. Where's the outrage for Usher? He handed 15-year-old Justin Bieber over to Diddy for 48 unsupervised hours knowing fully well what that monster was capable of. He's just as responsible for whatever took place. And another person wrote, Usher is a victim, which is sad, but he eventually grew up to become the instead of breaking the chain. Once Justin Bieber was in Usher's space, Usher definitely shouldn't have brought him around Diddy, knowing the ish he does. It's sad all around, to be honest. But let me know how you feel about yeah. the situation. Do you think Justin will ever mm. speak out publicly about his relationship with Diddy? And should Usher take some of the blame if Diddy did something to Justin? Drop your comments okay. below and make sure yeah. you stick around for this next video. All right, listen, if, you, if, if Usher knew what Diddy was capable of, specifically in that time. I mean, after he, you know, would, would wake up and wrestle with Diddy at, at the, you know, at the, the, the super young age he was at, right? Um, yeah, I think Usher has some responsibility here. He does. In fact, he has a lot of responsibility, actually. And now, will, uh, will Justin Bieber ever say anything about what happened? Uh, I think his publicist already said, yes, he may have to, right? Um, so it is what it is, guys. We're about, this is going to be an interesting year, right? Uh, Cat Williams already said earlier this year, 2024 is going to be interesting. A lot of this stuff is going to come out. How was he so prophetic, guys? How? I don't know. But all right, Cat Williams. Okay, maybe we should listen to him a little bit more, at least. <laughs> right? But all right, listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.